Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a really girly pink makeup look which I definitely don't normally do, like I ne never wear pink. Um, but if you want to see how I created this look then please just keep on watching. start by priming my face with my um, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I always use this and it's my favourite. So for foundation I'm going to be mixing two together. The Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation in the, in the shade Fair Beige and also Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Foundation in the shade 7 Medium. Um, this is just to warm this up a little bit. So I'm just going to dot that all over. And a small amount on the neck as well because you always want to bring it down so it's all, all seamless. And I'm just going to take my Morphe Y6 and I'm just going to do like circular motions because I like to get like a nice base down first and then go over with a little bit more if I need the coverage in places instead of putting like a lot on all over. So now that I've got like a, my first sort of layer, really thin layer, just sort of like evens out the skin tone and then I can go ahead and apply a little bit more where I need the coverage, like I always like it a bit thicker under my eyes just because it covers a little bit of that blue because I've got, I've got blue like all the way around here and it covers up that as well. And I always like to take whatever foundation I'm using on my lids just to give it that base before I put any sort of colour corrector or like eyeshadow base on. And then I just take the same foundation brush and press that into the skin. Just because this gives me the coverage that I need. For concealer I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution What's it called? Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and con and Contour. It's a mouthful. I did do a review on this, so if you want to check it out, I will leave it down below. So I'm just going to put this, sorry, this is in the sh shade C4. Um, I'm just going to pop some on the back of my spatula. I'm going to pop that under my eyes, just with the, my finger. I'm going to pop that on my chin as well, so it's sort of highlights as well. I like using like any concealer that I use. I like using it for highlight and contour. I'm just going to use my same uh, foundation brush that I've been using just to pat that in. This, I think this is, has to be like one of my favourite concealers now. Like it's so good. It's full coverage, but it's not like thick and heavy and cakey. Like I can't feel it on my skin, which is really, really nice. Because some full coverage foundations, they're thick, but you can really feel them and you, it feels like you've got a lot of makeup on. But when you put this on, you can't even feel it on your skin. To bronze up my skin a little bit more, I'm going to be using the um, Chanel Soleil Tandy Chanel Cream Bronzer. I love this for cream, um, as like a cream contour, so nice. So I'm just using my MAC 188 brush and I just like to swirl it into the product and then apply that on the cheek, on my cheekbones but like more, more bronzing than contouring. So I like to take that on like the apples of my cheeks and blend it upwards as well. It's just a really nice natural sun-kissed bronzer. Like it's really, I, I always wear it in the summer. If I don't want to wear foundation but I need to give myself a little bit of colour, then I will use, I will always go for this and maybe put like a little bit of concealer if I need to. But this I always use. I always grab for it in the summer. Then I just still use the same brush for my nose contour, but I sort of like pinch it a little bit so it goes really like sort of flat-ish. And I just take take whatever's left down the sides of my nose and I always bring that up into the brow as well. 
that's what makes it look more like a natural contour if you just like blend it right up into like the brow area. Then I'm just going to take my damp beauty sponge, this one's by Real Techniques, and I'm just going to press that over the top so it's nice and seamless and it's all blended in nicely. Now that I've finished with all my creams, I'm going to go ahead and set my face. So under my eyes, I like to always use my RCMA translucent powder and I just tip some into the cap. And I like to take my beauty sponge again and blend out the creases from under my eyes. And then I take the pointy end and just dip it into the powder like that and press that underneath. Just so it sets the concealer and doesn't end up creasing under my eyes. And I just apply small amounts where I've put that concealer just so it sort of sets that and brightens it slightly. Do that down the nose and a little bit on there. Also, I like to set my eyes with this as well. So I'm just gonna, again, blend out those creases and apply the powder. And then to set the rest of my face, I like to use my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I got a new one the other day because mine's literally, this is what my old one looks like. <laughs> I even try and scrape around the edge because literally I was, I need to use it. So I then just press that over the top just to set my foundation. And then I just like to dust away all that translucent powder that we've just applied. To define my contour a little bit more, I've been loving this Smashbox Sculpting Cheek Palette at the moment. Um, I've been loving using this shade right here. It's got like a slight grey tone to it, so it makes it like a really nice natural contour. So I pick up a little bit of that, and I apply this right at the bottom of my contour, just in that like, sort of like first half. Because that's where the, like, the natural hollow of your cheekbone is. That's why I like to take that, a more of a greyer tone bronzer in that section. And do the same the other side. And then the other shade, as it's more of like a orangey, not orange, but orange tone to the bronzer, I like to just pick that up and bronze it up slightly, more of like on the actual um, cheekbone itself. And then I like to take that on the apples of the cheeks as well just so it looks a bit more bronzed. I also like to take a smaller brush and pick up a mixture of both to do my nose contour. So I always start with the top and work it into the, like the first part of the brow. That's why I like to do my brows sort of like last just because I know I like to just work it right in there because it looks more natural. And then I bring whatever's left down the sides. For blush, I'm gonna be taking my MAC Fleur Power. I love this blush, it's one of my favorite colors. It suits pretty much any skin tone. And I like to apply this on the apples of my cheeks and you have to make this face. Okay. And then like, I blend up whatever's left up towards the temples. Moving on to highlight, I'm going to be using the Dose of Colours. This is the Katie and Desi collab. Um, I'm going to be using Mira May. So I've been loving applying my highlight with this Zoeva 224 Luxe Define Crease, Crease Brush as it's just like really soft and fluffy and it just blends out my highlight really well. So I'm gonna pick up some of that. When applying your highlight and you don't really know sort of like the areas where you're supposed to do it, I like to turn my head and see 
where the light sort of like naturally reflects it. And then when I've got that, I just apply that over the top. So it's like right there. And I'm gonna take that down the bridge of my nose, just using the same brush. Always have to do the tip and my cupid's bow as well. I'm just gonna grab a smaller, precise, flat brush and I'm gonna pop that onto my um, brow bone just to give that a little bit more of a pop. Moving on to brows, I'm going to be using my bra uh, Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. This is in the shade 2, I think. Yeah, 2. And all I do with my brushes is I comb it through first. And I literally just, just fill in all the sparse areas. Like, I don't really change the shape of my brow. Because my brows are quite thick and full anyway. But I literally just like to make them a little bit darker. So moving on to eyes, I'm going to be using my Morphe Dare to Create 39A palette. It's huge. Um, so these are all the colours. So for my crease, I'm going to be using, I've got to try and work out what, what it's called now, um, Sunder, that's how you say it, which is, oh I just stuck my finger in it, which is this shade right here. So I'm going to be using my 227 Luxe Soft Definer by Zoeva and I'm going to pick up that shade. I'm going to apply it straight in my crease and blend that upwards. I'm going to take that right into the inner corner of my nose brow area. And take that right out to the bottom of the brow. I'm then going to take this shade Sculpt which is so big, um, which is this shade right here. So it's slightly darker than the shade that we've just used. Um, I'm going to use that to sort of like define the crease just a little bit. Just a little bit more. For my lid, I'm actually going to go back to the blush that I use, which is MAC Fleur Power. And just using the same brush, I'm going to pick up some of that. And I'm going to apply that to my whole lid. So I'm going to take that right up to that first shade that we applied. I'm also just going to take a pencil brush and pick up that Fleur Power blush shade and apply that underneath. I'm then going to pick up the shade Create, which is this really bright fuchsia pink shadow. And I'm going to be picking up just a small amount of that on the same brush and dipping back into flare power just to sort of mix it, the two together so it's deepening the, sh the shade that we've just laid down on our crease just ever so slightly and apply that on the outer outer half and blend that right into the crease shade and again just taking a um, pencil brush dipping into those two colours again and applying that to the outer half of my lower lash line. So to um, brighten up the inner corner of my eye and the inner half of my lid, I'm going to take this highlight shade which is called Radiant Light. This is by Makeup Revolution as well. So I'm going to take that on a flat shader brush and I'm just going to literally put that on the inner half of my lid and right into the inner corner of my eye just to right open up that eye area section you know for lashes I'm going to be applying the Eyelaw 117 Wispies they're my favourite ones from Eyelaw moving on to lips to line them I'm going to be using a Morphe lip liner in the shade Backseat Love this is really nice nude
I'm then going to take this Morphe liquid lip in the shade Sweets and I'm just going to apply that in the center and then tap it out with my finger just to blend it. And then to create a bit more of an ombre effect I'm going to go back to the same lip liner and just go around the sides just to deepen it. So this is the finished result, I all hope you enjoyed this pinky smoky eye makeup tutorial. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did and please don't forget to subscribe. Also don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and I'll leave it linked down below.